The vertical lookup function is a function that will look up information in a table and do a comparison of the numbers in the table against the numbers you choose and return a value that you would like. For example, I've got my totals over here for the quarter for each sales rep and I'd like to give them each a bonus but it depends on how much they made in sales. For example, I've got my bonus worksheet here and I have a really tiny bonus table. It's two columns. Over to the left hand side I have the total that they have to meet or beat in sales of thousands of dollars in order to get the return value over in the second column here. This is column number two. Now I can have up to many columns here when it comes to the vertical lookup function but to keep it simple I only created two. So what's going to happen is, is in this vertical lookup function, it's going to look in the leftmost column of my table, which is this. It's going to take these numbers here and compare it to the number I tell it to to compare over here. If this number over here, 59, meets or exceeds the numbers in this column here, so it definitely meets and exceeds 50 but not 70, then it's going to go ahead to the number 2 column and return this value of $4,000, which number 4 will come up over here for the bonus of 4, 4000 So let's get started. I'll go ahead and click in the cell that I want my formula to return a value for. Up on the formula bar, click on the Insert Function button. And then click on the Categories, and we're looking for Lookup and Reference. Select it, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there's your Vertical Lookup. And then go ahead and click OK. Pull it down here so you can see it. So here we go. What value do we want to look up in our table to do a comparison? Well, the value is over here, the total, which is $59,000. I can either type in the cell value, which is, or the cell, B6, or I can click this Collapse dialog box button and simply come over here and select B6, hit Enter to expand it, and then come to the next one. Now, it wants me to define the table, and there's a couple ways I can do this. Now, remember that table is called the bonus table, B-O-N-U-S. If you watch the video creating name ranges, you can name, uh, well, a range of cells, which is the table in this case. Now, I know I got it right because over here it's pulling values, okay? If I don't remember it, I can delete this, click the Collapse dialog box button, come over to my bonus table, and then I can click and drag the blue header so I can get this out of the way and then select just the numbers the leftmost column here and also the column that I like values returned for and you can see it's pulling up the name bonus I hit enter on the keyboard and then I can click in the column index and then when I click here it pulls me back to where I'm creating my function and what is the number that I want to return as a value from that table? So I click the Collapse dialog box button. So once it performs the test, now the test, what it does is it looks in the leftmost column again and it compares it. And if it's greater than or equal to the numbers here, then I want to go to column two here and to pull up the corresponding numbers. So if the number is 59,000, it's less than 70, but greater than 50, it's going to pull in the number four. So I'm going to click on this button here to expand it, and it's not going to be the bonus. It's actually going to be column number two, because I want it to return the values in the second column. So like I said, you can have a table that's three or four or five columns wide. Just keep in mind that the leftmost column is going to be the table that it's going to do the numbers, and then you define out of the table which column you want to return a value from. It could be column 10 if you wanted, but in this case, it's going to be column two. Then when I'm finished, I can go ahead and click OK, and you can see there's the number 4 for 4,000. Now I can click and drag the autofill handle down, and it will automatically fill in the rest. And you can see right here for 24,000 for the vertical lookup, it comes over here and it says it's even less than 40. So I'm going to come over here and do the comparison. It's not greater than or equal to 40. In fact, it's less than, but greater than or equal to 0, so I'm going to return the value 0. One more thing. I'm going to come back here, and even though it's doing an, a greater than or equal to, what if I want to return an exact match? Now, in that table, you notice, well, first looking at all these numbers here, the only exact match I have is this one, 70. Because in the bonus table, it's the only one that exactly matches 70. You don't have to do a greater than or an equal to, so you can return an exact match, and this is how you do it. I can come back up here, and I can click on the FX to edit my formula. Down where it says range lookup, if I type in the word false where I type in zero, that means it has to get an exact number. And then I click OK. If it doesn't give me an exact number, it says not applicable because there's no value that's exact that it's going to return. I can click and drag the autofill handle down. And again, the only one that's an exact match 70 here is the 70 over here in the table. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.